Friday. Let's find out what's been happening in the world of entertainment. I'm joined in studio by our very gorgeous reporter, Lindy Westitola. Happy Friday, Mama. Happy Friday to you too. So let's start with uh, very young but very uh, doing very amazing things. MC Zuzu, tell us about all of that. An 11-year-old uh, okay. kid who's really a trailblazer at such a young age. This little boy is becoming a YouTube sensation. Heaven. So there was this video of him that was on Twitter. Mm -hmm. It was making the rounds and it received about, I think, 8,000 likes in a space of like two days. Sure. And he raps in Sitsuana, he raps about school, his friends, his family. Aww. And he talks about also, he's oh, is that um, him over there. That's him, yes, that's him over there. We must actually cut to him so we can hear what he, saying. What yeah, he yeah. says. He's so brilliant. Oh, wow. reminds you of the times of Zambia. Exactly, Zambia. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. Okay, let's move on to intercontinental collaborations, yes. aka doing amazing things uh, with Davido's producer. Yes. Um, so I spoke to him earlier, and his name is Kirominant. Kirominant. Yes, Kirominant. He's from Lagos. They're trying to catch and us with uh, all these names. Uh, right. Kirominant. Like okay. <laughs> so they worked on a song together called Fela in Versace. Yeah. And recently shot a video for it. So that's why he's here. And ah. he's also hoping to collaborate with other local artists. Uh -huh. And um, there's a video for Davido 4. So let me just introduce him, in fact. I think we should play that video so that you guys get a sense right. of... Um, right who he is and the work, the kind of work that he's done. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we don't care about producers. No. We only and it's a pity because they're the ones who <laughs> do the magic. Exactly. <laughs> we only focus on the artists. So mm -hmm. maybe we can even play the video if the video is um, ready. But if not, then we can just move on. I shall. We can Google ready? him or YouTube <laughs> him and you'll see the video before. Do we before. have a treat? Do we have a treat? <laughs> I shall. We do. We do. Okay, let's, let's go. There's the treat. We have the treat, Lindy. Follow you. Banana, follow you. Huh? Brother, fall on you, cause I'm in love with you. Money fall on you, banana fall on you, paparazzi follow you, cause I'm in love with you. Yeah. Uh, are you done talking? Tell me, baby, are you done talking? Yeah, are you done talking? So if you're a fan of the song, that's all courtesy of uh, Kiron Minan. Exactly. Ah, the story, more on the story on MNT Weekend Editorial, just by the way. By yours just truly. Just <laughs> right, let's look at the long awaited Vogue issue with Beyonce yes. on the cover. It's not only monumental because she's on the cover, but for other reasons as well. Exactly, because she, the first ever black photographer to shoot the cover, she worked with this guy and she picked this guy. His name is Tyler Mitchell. So we spoke about this last week, but I thought it was only fair that we show you the pictures right. and the cover. This is what the cover looks like. Beautiful. And also she wrote the article oh, wow. herself, which is so interesting because it takes us into her mind, her state of mind. Mm. And she talks about being a mother and having to deal with the weight after giving birth to the blue to Blue Ivy, mm, her first mm, child, mm. and how she put herself under so much pressure that she wanted to lose the weight within um, three months. Mm. But after her twins were born recently, she decided to be more relaxed and she was more happier with her fuller body. And she talks about having a fupa. You know, we all know what that is. We all know what that is. <laughs> you know, if Beyonce can talk about her food, right, I'm like, right. oh, that's it's great. great. It's great to see, great to see that. Like her actually exactly. being real and taking exactly. us into their confidence. Exactly. And another interesting thing she talks about is the importance of diversity in the industry and mm. having to open up the doors for mm. the next generation mm. the same way that Double Diana Ross right. and Whitney Houston did right. for, her. for her. So that's the reason why she chose to work with 23 year old Tyler. Ah. So it's so interesting and this just she never amazing to amaze in there. I could like quote her all days. day. <laughs> I really could right now, but it's okay. But we won't. Uh, let's go into Women's Day celebrations. Yes. Uh, what is happening this weekend if you want to go somewhere or someone is looking to take you out and yes. there's a treat for you? Okay. Where do you go? So let me touch on this weekend and just a few events also happening throughout August. So there will be Joy of Jazz has been having a number of events leading up to the actual event in September. But on Saturday at Constitution Hill, there will be a nice picnic for just the ladies. And um, it'll ha there'll be up and coming artists performing there. 
and then the women's jail will also have a number of yes, events. Yes, They've yes, been yes, happening yes, yes. at Constitution Hill. Yes, mm -hmm. from the beginning of August mm -hmm. all the way until the end of August. Like almost every other day there's something happening there, like a night tour of the women's jails. There'll be art exhibitions, film screenings. It's so much will be happening and right. we can touch more on that again on Weekend Wake Up. Indeed, don't give Actually, away all the secrets. MIT Weekend right. Editorial Let's go edition. overseas and see uh, what is happening with uh, Donald Trump. Uh, yes. What's up with the Hollywood star of fame? Are they looking to remove him? They are looking to remove that star. Oh. So the West oh, Hollywood oh. Um, Council is hoping to remove that star because they're saying with Donald Trump, the comments that he's been making about women pretty much and his policies lately and with people protesting against him they feel that it's only right that they remove the star and it doesn't deserve to be there and it's been vandalized oh over my. the past few it, months <laughs> and recently yeah, it's no. been vandalized you see there they put stickers right. saying that he's xenophobic he's racist he's sexist and it's been smashed with a hammer as well <laughs> there we go. There's oh a picture my. of it being smashed with the hammer. Oh this is all in protest, of course, against the president. Tough and times. Uh, tough times, indeed. Yeah. But it may not be that easy to remove that star because um, they are saying that, uh, that um, they've never removed a star before. So they wouldn't from know how the, to do from it? The, yes, from, <laughs> they've never had to remove it before because they're saying it's part of the history, right. the walk's history. Right. Um, but if they do remove it it would be interesting because guys like Abo, Bill Cosby and other problematic Hollywood men who have stars mm. on the walk mm. Mm. it would be interesting to mm. find out if their stars would also be removed no mm. yeah we'll wait and see thank you very much to you our star and we'll <laughs> see you tomorrow with all things uh, <laughs> entertainment Lindy with Sitole Come